Here are 73 balloons facts you possibly didn't know. If you buy a 2XX and 3XX glue gunner, their glues will stack and both do damage. Just make sure the lower tier glue attacks first or this won't work. Half cash halves your income, but not the selling value, which makes it easy to pivot strategies and makes Geraldo's NFT very valuable. You can put an ice monkey down on its own ice platform if you place it straight down from being a door gunner inside a special operations helicopter. Lich does not eat the sharpening stone or heat it up buff, meaning you can use these safely. Geraldo's genie is affected by buffs like jungle drums and homeland defense, so keep this in mind for tough rounds like 98. There is a destroyed balloon shipper on Scrapyard, and upon further investigation, Ninjakiwi had this to say about bringing it to BTD6 as a tower. The balloon shipper still does plenty of hard work in BTD5, Battles, and Monkey City, and there were many things that we loved about it. Outside of that, we let Scrapyard speak for itself. The Lich Soul currently scales with free play rounds, making it much harder to take down the normal, though this should be patched very soon. The extra range camo potion from Geraldo's shop can be used to make some huge monkey obelisks, the biggest of which can be made on the challenge editor Map Blondes. Adora is getting her third skin very soon, which will make half of the heroes in the game have three. Ninja Kiwi will likely add a third for every hero, so fingers crossed for Churchill getting his third one soon. Pickles and Sharpening Stone increase the damage of Spike Storms by a ton, which really helps out for ranked bosses. Speaking of Pickles, they add one damage to a tower, but reduce its attack speed by 20%, so buy them on anything that does less than four damage per projectile. The fast forward button makes the game speed up by 3x. The map Spiced Islands is based off a real place in Indonesia that shares the same name. On this map, the flowers can be clicked to stun balloons, but they have a long cooldown before they can be used again. And they also change color if you get a VTSG on the stone platform. Every military monkey has a hat when you place them down. They can all pop every type of balloon in some way or another, and they can all get infinite range. Geraldo shop only refills the first time he hits level 20 in a game, meaning there is no point to selling and rebuying him anymore. The 042 factory can be affected by extra attack speed due to the smart spikes upgrade. This removes the attack speed cap, making it much better for ranked bosses. The whole Bloons universe started back with a tiny flash game of a monkey throwing darts at Bloons back in 2007. If Sharpening Stone is given to an engineer, all of its current and future sentries will receive the same buff. The rare Quincy action figure's price is based off of when Geraldo first unlocks it, so even if you get Geraldo to level 3 for the first time on round 157, the NFT will still be at its base cost. There are two towers in the game that have active abilities not related to the middle path. They are the Dartling Gunner's lock ability if you have the monkey knowledge, and the bottom path super's dark shift ability. You can open the dam on Flooded Valley by pressing the top rectangle five times, the bottom rectangle five times, hitting the top button, then the bottom button, and finally the big button in the middle. You have to do it in this order, and then you can purchase releasing the water for $5,000. Monkeys on the platforms of the carrier flagship get moved to the Navarch of the Seas when the Paragon is formed. Moab stands for Massive Ornery Air Blim. BFB stands for Brutal Floating Behemoth. ZUMG stands for Zeppelin of Massive Gargantuanness. DDT stands for Dark Derigable Titan. And BAD stands for the Big Airship of Doom. There is a visual indicator saying that you can overclock the Wizards Phoenix and Lava Chicken, but clicking them does nothing. You can overclock the base hero, but this does not affect the birds. Per David the Superior, getting a Sun God with both military sacrifices had all of its Golden Bomber planes move in the four different flight paths, those being the Figure Infinite, Figure 8, Circle, and Circle Reverse. However, due to many updates, the planes have been bugged to only follow one path per sacrifice, meaning they will only move in Figure 8 and Circle. The Archmage has all three tier 3 upgrades of the Wizard. It obviously keeps the top path's main attack, it gets the middle path's Dragon Breath, and it gets the bottom path Shimmer. The Frag Bomb upgrade on the Bomb Shooter gives it plus 2 range and lets it pop every type of balloon. You can reset the Scrapyard Trap on Sandbox mode by refreshing all cooldowns. This is really good if you're practicing for the Geraldo 1TC. Geraldo is actually pronounced Geraldo, but Nishkiwi says that he's gotten used to it and even embraces both pronunciations. At level 7, Brickle unlocks a new ability, Blast Chain. When activated, her sea mines get half the attack cooldown and double the projectile speed for 10 seconds. This is super useful for rounds you know big rushes are coming, like 63, 76, and 78. Battles 2 has been adding heroes in the same order that they did to BTD6, meaning that Izili is likely next, followed by Pat and then Adora. Sada has the shortest starting range of all the heroes as she starts with one less range than Pat Fusty. 
And if you think about it, her and Pat shouldn't really get extra range with levels. I mean, do Pat's arms get longer and her swords larger? Compare this to Adora, who has the largest displayed range of any hero when you activate her level 3 ability and sacrifice a monkey. Her and Ninja Kiwi, you can annoy heroes by repeatedly clicking on them. Most heroes get abilities at level 3 and 10, but Geraldo only gets one ability at level 1, while Azili, Adora, and Brickle have an extra ability that is unlocked at level 7. Turning off hero audio basically makes the hero simulate a game of playing who can be the quietest. Each hero has a preferred method of transportation. Some are obvious, like Brickle and Churchill, as you can just see the vehicle that they use, but Quincy likes walking and Stryker likes parachuting. Ninja Kiwi said that there is a possibility for a non-monkey hero to come to BTD6. They just have to be, quote, packed to overflowing with character. If you have ever wondered why there weren't heroes in BTD5, well, it's because they were all training during those events so they could prepare for BTD6. The glue gunner has accidentally stuck itself to the ground before, and because of this, the glue gunner has actually made a solvent to unstick when absolutely necessary. The reason Quincy seems to magically be able to summon arrows with his level 10 ability is because he fires hundreds of arrows into the sky above each map before any balloon evasion, and he can call them down when his ability is activated. The reason you can get a free dart monkey or glue gunner at the start of every game is because they are super enthusiastic fighters and require nothing to start battling. BTD6 heroes play other games. For example, Churchill loves World of Tanks, Azealia likes any good horror game, and Pat loves fighting games while also being a savant at button mashing. Bloons lore establishes that there is a monkey inside of everything, including Balloons. Contested Territories was first introduced to the Bloons universe back in Bloons Monkey City, and is now making its way into BTD6 with this next update. Have you ever wondered what happens to the mess left behind after each game? Well, the Bloon Solver comes in and cleans up after the monkeys have finished defending. Talk about working overtime. Apparently, monkeys are physically able to move after you place them. It's just very hard to convince them to move from their favorite balloon popping spot once they've picked one. The reason balloons can't send out a bat on round one is because it takes time to gear them up, just like we can't get tier five monkeys down right away in chimps. Snipers never miss and will always hit their target. The reason for this is because of how much training they've put into their craft. Frozen Over is the only beginner map that has not had a boss battle on it. The monkeys think of us like a guiding force to help protect their lands and not an all controlling god. Geraldo stores all of his power in his mustache, something which I might try out. Out of all the heroes, Adora is the most serious and ETN is the least. There have been many memes about this, but Quincy is very flattered at the incredible prices that his action figure can sell for, and he is not at all insulted by the fact that they can pay for him several times over. Quincy and Gwendolyn have quite the relationship. We've seen Quincy with Valentine's Day chocolates for Gwen, and I've read that he's even proposed to her, but I haven't found any evidence of the latter. Geraldo's first item that he ever found was his backpack, which allowed him to carry the rest of his treasures. The reason snipers never run out of ammo is because the engineer and wizard monkeys crafted a never-ending box of ammo, and I assume that this can be extended to all of the monkeys. Now we can all agree that baking is very important, and luckily we know which heroes are the best and worst at baking, with the best being Geraldo and Azili being the worst. The glue gunner is called the acid gunner in Bloons Pop because Ninja Kiwi felt like they needed to align the name more accurately to what it does. When monkeys are sacrificed to a true sun god or sun temple, they feel a sense of being and oneness and not pain and suffering. Ninja Kiwi is planning on adding tons and tons of bosses, at least until they run out of cool ideas, which they assured us would never happen. This one is pretty reassuring in that monkeys are not born into roles, they can change whenever they want. So if you place down a dart monkey, you know it's because he wants to be a dart monkey. Churchill is the best hero at chess, which does make sense as he is a military strategist. Unfortunately, Cobra is not coming back to Battles 2. Per Ninja Kiwi, if there's anything that evolves from Cobra that fits Battles 2, it'll be quite different, but reconceived to fit that game and not be an in-app purchase. There are no plans or designs for this currently. Technically, Adora could sacrifice balloons, but apparently this is the wrong type of experience and could actually hurt Adora. The reason camel balloons can get past walls of fire but not spikes is because spikes are, quote, just in the way and hurt stuff, while walls of fire is magical, so they take on some aspects of its caster. This one is pretty reassuring in that monkeys can retire after a long career of popping balloons, and an example of this would be the lightsaber thrower. And lastly, there are endless waves of balloons as they have an unlimited population. Even if we combine all of our pop counts, we are not even close to wiping them out. And if you like these facts, you can check out 26 more by clicking this video right down here.